Hello, this is Holly, and I am speaking to you about the University of Iowa's fantastic phonetics, the Sounds of American English site. Um, there are other tutorials and examples you can find on YouTube and probably elsewhere on the web if you do some searching, but I am going to post this for Loop learn English with a worldwide perspective, learners who want to focus on a few specific pronunciation challenges they might have. I do think this site is fantastic. I do think it is best used with some guidance. So I recommend that you join our pronunciation classes, our courses, our activities on the site, uh, lewwwp.com. Be in the loop with Loop, and if American English is something you are trying to improve, use this site, please, to practice specific challenges that you have. So when you log into the site, you can see the URL for the site here and I will share it on our site as well in our pronunciation group. When you first join, uh, first go to this URL to the website, this is what you will see. And you see several tabs and I invite you to explore these tabs. Some of the words may not be familiar to you if you haven't studied linguistics and phonetics particularly, but if you will click on a few of these tabs, you will find your way. There are not that many to explore. Let's start here where it says stop. So we'll start with stop. If you click on stop, you'll see that this page has a listing of the sounds that have stops. A stop is a consonant characterized by a complete obstruction of the outgoing airstream by the articulators, <laughs> a buildup of intraoral air pressure and a release. So you may not find the wording helpful or you may, depending on how much you have studied. But what can be very helpful is to find the sound that you are looking to practice. So let's look at P. If you click on each one of these, you will see a similar, um, a similar layout of information. So if you click on any of the sounds, you will see this section, a button to play. You'll note that this little bubble is filled in. If I click here, it changes to a different view above. And again, a, a button to click for next. And on the other side, a real person and a button to put push to hear the sound that the letter makes, and then words to hear it in the initial placement at the beginning of a word, internally in the middle of a word, and as a final consonant sound at the end of a word. I think it's helpful to play these, hear them, try to reproduce them, but I recommend when you get to these pages to click first here for a step-by-step -step description. Get a mirror and be at your computer with a mirror and check each of these. Put your lips the way they have them here. Notice the tongue position. Next, try to follow what they are highlighting. And last,
and back to the beginning. Play these over and over again. Then play the animation with the sound. Watch the action that takes place here. Play them over and over again. Try to identify the same placement within your own mouth. And practice, practice, practice. Record yourself. Try sentences, phrases, words before and after, before and after the sounds you are trying to mimic. Here you'll see you have largely the phonetic chart sounds. If you're not familiar with the IPA, the International Phonetic um, Chart, then click each of them, listen to the sounds, you'll learn them. So explore, explore all of the options for all of the sounds. So I'm just going to quickly show the different sounds here. All of them will give you sample words, a real human speaking the sound, and step by steps. Many of these are especially challenging sounds for English language learners. Practice, practice, practice. Study, focus, use a mirror, R and L, side by side, R and L. Really pay attention to the step by step differences. Work in a mirror, practice, practice, practice. The more familiar you are with these various sounds and how they are produced, the more your pronunciation and understandability by other listeners will improve. So you have a lot of practice to work with, many different places where you can focus on practice. Explore. Read as much as you are willing to. Click all of the optional tabs. Lots of review here. Excellent self-study paired with real practice with native English speakers or trained non-native English speakers to help you is excellent is an excellent way to improve your pronunciation. Try it. Try it soon. Register for a course or a class or a private tutoring opportunity for follow-up. Highly recommended site. That's all from Holly. Bye-bye.